Hello everyone and welcome to Animal House Plays Amnesia Machine for Pigs. This is episode 9, and it is the Frogstown playthrough. In the previous episode, we got chased, kinda, and we had to subvert the water monster. We didn't really stay around for that long. I was kinda hoping for a bit more. Now we're going into the Bowed Pump Maintenance Access. Let's go save those kids. From Tide to Spy. Who's that? That shadow, that spirit child in the background, that barely formed, that changeling that almost lived, that never missed. My god, it's, it's Bullseye. Was it, no, it was Daredevil. No. Yeah, Bullseye never missed. Daredevil was... is... You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Manuel. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. As all the good scientists do. Wrestling and steam smothering. Oh, we have lights. I'm ready. There's that flickering. Just to let me know there's something going on. I said you'd come. Aw, thanks. Do what I can for my kids. Nest of wretches, dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind, my instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dark complex is a means of further descent. I want to see their faces as they go about their dark business, and yet, and yet, I wish them sleep and eat and play. They are so very, like, so, so very human, so very childlike. They will not think of what I have seen. Chairs and cages. They will not think of how such monsters may be skilled in. Pretty sure I did that. Most of it. These must be the barge pumps. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts in order to keep his flood in place. He must have disabled these vast pumps. But clearly, he was clearly rushed thus far. He has left most of his work incomplete. His clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. Lovely. My children. Hey, water monster's bag. How you doing, buddy? That looks like a control. A series of pipes. I guess I just need to uh, get rid of the flood. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple, down with heaven, towards a wind that held the voices of my children beckoning me to set them free. Man, with the piano, that was... Hey, buddy. It's... I'm just going to finish my thought. Okay. Shut up. Um, I was oddly Daniel-esque, which uh, I actually really liked in that moment. Alright, I'm coming to get you. You just burst into blood. How many times have I told you not to do that? Yeah. Go. No, I didn't need those. <laughs> not in the water. It's not. It's not scary. I know what you are. I have faced you many times. was good. Subtle. Made me think. Looks like another decontamination chamber. So this one. Or this one. Or this one. Oh, nothing I can pick up. Probably nothing of value. Just 
stop and show all wheels are in place for the correct operation of the pumps. Oh. Doesn't think I've gone there yet. I guess that must be the, the turn on. So I must change the pumps down there. Alright. Go. Turn. Nope, okay. I'm a must. Spoosh, spoosh, spoosh. Yep, you spoosh. And it's processing company. Processing company, yeah. So. Not entirely sure. I assume I need to drain this. I mean, I could do it at the same time, but it, without the whole. like, kind of picking up in the inventory of things. I don't. I haven't even considered just having boxes or anything. I mean, can I pick up these? I mean, that, that would have been my solution initially, but... Did I just miss a door? No. Oh, now it works. Thanks. Big head! That's good. I did get that done. Does kind of make a, a, a an already lucky game. Oh, oh, idiot. oh, okay. Oh, not that way. Run, 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 run. More of you. How'd it go? Oh. All right. That was good. I mean, on one half. Uh, no, and then on the other half. Yes. Man. This is a halfway to loading screen. Oh, this is it. This is the trailer. It just looks like I slide down there. Not very helpful. Go the whole way down. Ow! My leg. Did I just? Oh. We got a rock. Yeah. No. Okay. We got another rock. Yeah. What was the point of coming down here? Was there a point? I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to do that later. Alright, let's keep it rolling. It's sneaky corridors. I'm in here. I was in there. So okay. Oh, what? I got a wrench or a gear. Got a wrench. Got me really close. Okay. I need to get that going. 
Ha! Oh, I thought it was an axe. Okay. Got it. Did it. I did it. I prevailed. Sapchair has beaten my heart and pounds with excitement. It was my head spent to jump for satisfaction. The owl, this machine now throbs about me, sent me to the sense of the rebirth of the different miles sent back to the center and the only ones I have to watch. I don't know what you're doing with the pigs, but that's about as far as I go with interactivity. This bit ran away, didn't it? Access. I would end the episode here, but it's a little short, so I will actually instead go in. The children dancing. He obsessively scans the newspapers and periodicals for new inventions. They are architecture to a value. Evelate? No? I saw he proclaims Edwin Enoch, just play on unaware. I'm not even convinced I have kids at this point. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm desperate to find them, but in every other thing, every other reference, I, I don't really have to worry about them. It almost feels like I kind of adopted them. March 15th, 1899. Curled into my bunk, all si sick and sweat-ridden, they clean my room about in me, but I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a green machine. 
We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in a rotten ribcage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving, and I remember when we pulled into Southampton. Where's Southampton? When we both wept, for it was every bit as much as a desecration as had been said to me. Then we came to London, and I set upon the mantelpiece, set it upon the mantelpiece, and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. Alrighty then. This is a tiny toy. Eh. Eh, I made it. Journal page. That was a lot of reading. And when they first said Danny, my heart was molten as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul and two bodies. And my love was all consuming. I would die for you, I was with their sleeping faces. I would kill them. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I have and I am come for you now, my dumb boys. Great. Right. Sent him to hell. Look it is. Stop. In the name of love. No more price that person sent to facility by order of management. It's kinda late. Alright, I have a feeling that's gonna break from beneath me. Here we go. No? Oh, okay. Oh, that's the scenic room, I guess. Ah, big old head. You came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and then we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. I just froze that. What was that to me? Is this like Justine? Is this all just an elaborate ruse for myself? Or was that the voice from Yellow Monkey Evil Telephone Guy? Alright, alright, I'm getting into it. A little bit late, but I'm getting into it. Man, this is a big machine. <laughs> I realize how obvious that now sounds. For your children, Mandus, to spare them the world you have created. Okay. For us In the factory, part of the factory. And down, I guess. It's the goddamn machine for pigs. How is that? You know, never mind. Never mind. Let's just rod control room. Let's go control the hell out of rod. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. 
Ask them to define your humane. Ooh. All right. Okay, before I control these rods, we're going to cut to the next episode. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, and as it looks, potentially the last. I mean, this seems pretty finale. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.